everybody, Shane Severson, Anthony Callahan here, Team Severson, just diving back in, shooting some videos with Anthony um, because he is new to the team, but he has a lot to offer the team and uh, offer all of you that are watching. Uh, I want to talk a little bit about investing. Last week when we introduced you to the team, Anthony, we talked about the fact that you are young and the fact that you own two rental properties yep. already. Um, and so I think a lot of people feel like a couple things that I want to address on this Tips Tuesday is they think it's really hard to buy property, mm -hmm. um, especially in a market now when people are saying interest rates are up, I can't afford it, like there's no way I could own a house, yeah. uh, one. Uh, people think, you know, how in the world do I ever get out in, into investing in two, mm -hmm. right? And they think it's so difficult. So let's start there. Let's talk about how was it hard? I mean, you called me, as you alluded to last time, I've known Anthony most of his life. He called me at uh, like 17, wanted to buy his first home. And uh, we had to wait till you're 18 because yeah. that's the law. You got to buy a house at 18. So you bought your first house at 18, bought your second house at 19. Um, was it hard? I no. mean, you're, you're, you're a teenager buying your first right. properties and a lot of people in their 30s may not own a property. Was it hard? Was that process hard? Yeah, so the hardest part in that process for me was coming up with like the down payment money. Okay. And, you know, I, I just wrote it down. I was like, okay, for, for the first home, I need around twenty five to 30000 saved up, you know, to put 3.5% down, yeah. closing costs, yeah. all that. And I just broke it down. I'm like, well, let's see what's what's twenty thousand divided by three sixty five, and it was like fifty bucks a day. I'm like, well, okay, fifty bucks a day seems not too hard to get. Yeah. So what I did was first I was on Facebook Marketplace looking uh, jobs, you know, like do some yard work, some landscape work after work, or doing Uber Eats, you know, okay. just just trying to come up with some money. Yeah. And then I was able to start like. I could save up a thousand bucks. I'll go buy a car for a thousand, sell it for fifteen hundred. I was just trying to generate some money outside of my job. You okay. Know? So that was the, the toughest part was just hustling up, you know, twenty, thirty thousand dollars to put down. And I, I understand like people got families, and you know, you gotta you work, and you might not have a thousand bucks a week to put aside, but you know, it, you can do it. it, it money's out there. I think the eighty percent of all money printed was printed in the past, like two or three years like yeah. right now is the easiest time to make money okay. in history yeah i mean there's 14 year old kids online you know doing crypto or, or whatever you know yeah. so there's money out there to get like to grab and okay. you just got to figure out how to get it awesome first part yeah um buying the home the, the process of buying the home i really didn't run into any issues outside of you know putting in seven different offers on places you know it took a while to get locked down on that yeah. first home yeah but uh my personally the hardest part for me was coming up with that money okay. if you can figure out a way maybe you can get it from a parent or a relative who has some money or if yeah. you just got to get it on your own that's yeah. that's gonna be your toughest part is just coming up with that initial initial money down. you know i think that the thing that's very interesting and i'll just talk to everyone that's watching this right now i always talk to our agents and i talk to uh people that are looking to get into real estate and everything else and i think the number one hurdle is right here um the number one hurdle is in your mind uh people who think it's hard it's impossible i can't do it i can't you know um then you can't if you yeah. think you can do it you can do it i mean at eight, 18 years old you know bought his first property 19 owned two properties, just worked hard. And uh, I think what's interesting about the way Anthony did this, it, it's not even that hard. Uh, we talk about this all, all the time. There's first time home buyer programs still, there's government grants out there. There is all kinds of different ways that, you know, maybe for seven, $8,000, you can get in your first home. So yeah. um, I think, you know, Anthony's saving $25,000, $30,000 at 18 to buy his first home. And and really, we could probably get you in for three, four, five thousand uh, dollars. So it really is not that difficult. It's not that hard. You just have to get over the hurdle in your own brain to get started. Now, the other thing that I want to address is it. People think it's it's 
um, crazy for me to go out in a market like this, especially and mm -hmm. buy multiple properties. Yeah. Like, okay, Shane, you ran into one rental that you had. Mm -hmm. Okay, but to be aggressive and buy multiple, why two homes? Why? Okay, you got a home, you succeeded. Okay. Yeah. None of your friends own homes. Yeah. You own a home. Yeah. Why go buy two? Why buy more? Yeah, I doubled down. So I bought my first home, and I I kind of realized I'm like, everyone needs food, water, and shelter. Like that's that's not going anywhere, right? So someone's gonna pay to live regardless of what yeah. happens, right? So I was, you know, I'm like, why not be the person to own the place, right? Yeah. So that's why I doubled down. And some people have come up to me, you know, it's risky, you know, leveraging your money, all this and that. I'm, I'm fine with it. I'm 19. I can hit rock bottom three times. It is what it is. Like I'd rather get in the game, and play that game of risk. Yeah. I don't know if you know something does happen it happens you know but at least i was able to get in the game but uh the biggest part is like maintaining the properties right you yeah. gotta get your tenants you gotta make sure everything's good and so what i did because i was i was working full-time at the time when i got my first rental um i hired a property manager and what a property manager does is he takes care of finding your tenants any maintenance anything like that and i just pay him you know 10 percent of the rent and i was luckily you know thankful enough to be like cash flowing on that so yeah. i wasn't you know cutting into my my earnings on that yeah. so you know i'm basically owning mm -hmm. this property manage it all for i only got to think about it just, yeah you know but so you own two properties i do and you're cash flowing yep you're not in the hell on nope. either of them yeah you're cash flowing after a property manager yep and uh how is your appreciation been have you made some money <laughs> yeah appreciation's a the bonus um yeah i've made or something thousand appreciation over the past two years <laughs> right which i mean the market was crazy it yeah. was wild the yeah. past it was 18 and 20 percent which right. was a crazy boost but even a six percent rate you know you you earn six percent on you know a few hundred thousand dollars that's still quite a big uh, that's a lot of money that's quite a big money yeah, yeah. For sure. well well done yeah. lastly i know we're running late uh long here what are your goals for the future in investing in particular what, sure. one thing i want all of us to realize is when we are thinking it's not possible or it's too risky you have somebody out in the market doing it and some of us like me need to watch guys like this and just try to keep up with them and so all of you who think it's not possible over the next couple of years are gonna watch somebody uh, accomplish amazing things that it is possible. So tell us what your goals are. What do you wanna do over the next couple of years in investing in particular? Yeah, so long-term, I, I really feel like there's a need for like affordable, small living homes. Like yeah. I feel like that's something that's coming up. You know, people aren't buying these huge lots and wanting to maintain all that. Right. Especially, I know my generation, we can't even change a tire, you know? <laughs> like, right. you know instead of maintaining the home. But um, yeah, I wanna be able to get into the building side. Okay. Build small, affordable homes that you know people can, people rent or buy or live in, you know. Um, I wanna get into apartment buildings, some sort of, something to do with that. Okay. I don't wanna be in a single family residential forever. Okay. But we'll see, I'm, there's a, there's so much to do in real estate. I'm, I just started a week ago, you know, a couple of weeks ago, right. so we'll see what happens. But yeah, I'm definitely keeping my mind open. Awesome. To, different opportunities and awesome. see what comes. That's great. Yeah. If you are looking to invest in property, reach out to Legacy Realty. We together will be able to help you buy your first rental, buy many rentals, get into bigger and better things. Uh, I'm excited for that. If you are one of our investors and you are investing, I think uh, this gentleman sitting here is going to add a lot of value and uh, will be able to help us accomplish great things. So. Uh, Thanks so much for joining us right. again. Thanks for uh, all that you do. And I'm excited to see the future of Legacy Realty, the Severson team, and especially this young man sitting by us. Uh, he may own a house that I'm living in here eventually. So anyway, we'll see how this goes. God bless you. We will see you next Tuesday.